Can we teach our robot how to move? We have downloaded the Robot Inventor app. We have upgraded the hub and the motors. We have built just about the smallest possible robot so that we can begin coding as quickly as possible. It's now time to teach our robot how to move. We can use either USB or Bluetooth. We will first use USB to connect our robot to our computer. We will look at Bluetooth later. Find your USB cable and connect your robot to your computer. Put your robot on the floor where it can move. If your cable is not long enough, USB extension cables like this are available at most computer stores. If you only have one USB port on, of your computer and that is used to connect a mouse, you can get a USB extender like this at most technical stores. How to start coding our Lego Robot Inventor 51515 robot using Scratch and a USB connection. Now for the USB Scratch example of getting your robot to move. Start up Windows 10 Start menu and choose the Mindstorms option. It will be down M, M, here we are, Mindstorms. Left mouse click on that and it will come up like this. We then click on Code. Now you can see we've got when program starts, but up here you can see the little red dot means that we haven't got our robot connected. I'll plug the USB connection of the robot in. You can hear a click. Shortly this will go green. Hub is successfully connected. Down here says that we can run a program if we want to. Right. So let's pull down one of the these. A click, a left click, mouse click, and pull that down. E column means that we've got a motor connected to slot E on our robot. Um, and if we want to run this, it'll go. That wheel will go around for one rotation, one rotation of the wheel. Let's see if we can do that. Click that. Will it move? Will it move? Ah, moved. Good. Now let us see if we can do the same thing using a Bluetooth instead of a USB connection. Let's um, find Mindstorms again. You can see it up the top because I've used it a lot, but we'll go down to the Mindstorms in the usual position in the Start menu. And we wait a bit and it comes up. Good. We click on code as usual. And uh, you'll notice at the top right, in fact, we've got red. We haven't got the connection open at the moment. I'll click on Bluetooth and we get a strong hint from the diagram. Thank you, Lego. Um, we press the um, start button, but you'll notice I haven't pressed it quite hard enough and um, I haven't been quite sure why it didn't start, so I have another go at pressing the start button and do it properly this time. <laughs> you can see the glow, so that's okay. And then I've moved that aside so you can see me pressing the, um, the Bluetooth button. I pressed it too early before uh, the first of those two times, before the lights were on. It's flicking to show that it's once. You can see uh, we've got Lego down the bottom, Lego Hub, and we've clicked on that, and it's all fine, and we connected, and you can see on the top right of the screen uh, it's configuring the Bluetooth services. So we've got a good connection to Bluetooth from our computer to our little robot. Well, let's see if the connection really works. Pull down the same command as we did before. We've got a motor connected to E. It'll go around one rotation. We click on the green circle with the white arrow and see if we can get it to move without any USB connection. You can see the change. It moved! Ah, good. So it works with a, US, uh, with a Bluetooth connection as well as a USB connection. Good.
Next let's try programming using Python, which is a much more advanced language than Scratch. It's one of my favorite languages. It reminds me a lot of Algol 60, which I started on the Elliott 503 some time ago, but it's much more capable. Let's look and find Mindstorms again. We'll start up Mindstorms on our Windows 10. We'll click on Code as we did before. And up the top, see a plus, click on that. And we've had word blocks grayed out. We want to click on beta for Python. That's grayed out, and now we click Create. And we've got this very new system with lots of words. Now, we've got to type in a lot, but there is a translator, which is a really nice thing about Lego's version of Python. If we pull it down, you'll see we've got a single motor on for certain seconds, a bit like the one we had in Scratch, and underneath is the Python equivalent. Motor equals motor A, motor run for so many seconds, one seconds at 75% power. Now, we've got to type that in to our Python. We could copy and paste, but I'll type it in because that's what you'll have to do. And we'll do it for E because our motor's at E, not at A. And we've got to put motor run for seconds. And I'll type that in motor dot run underline four underline seconds. Open round bracket one comma seventy five close round bracket. That's got to be exact. You can't make any mistakes in that. Of course, I have made a mistake in that. You'll notice when I look at that, I have put it on the end of the hub speaker beep command and I've got to put um, a click on the end of that and put in a carriage return. Now that's better. Now, will it work with our robot? Well, there's one problem. Notice in the top right, it's still red. We haven't connected our USB to the computer. Let's now connect that. And uh, we're moving that in. And you may hear a sound. Um, a bit of a fiddle to get it in. And um, yes, there it is. Hub was sufficiently, uh, successfully connected. And you can see the lights on the robot. It's green, a screen down here. We can click on play and see if our Python program runs. See the flicks on the uh, light and it worked. Oh, jolly good. And so you've run your first Python program. We can also run a Python program with our robot using a Bluetooth connection. Let's look at an example of that. We start up the usual way, look at the menu on our Windows 10 computer, click on Mindstorms, and up comes the general thing. We then click on Code, and up in the top left we see a little plus. Click, click, click on that, and then click on Python. It goes grey, and we click on Create. Now you see lots of words here, but let's go along to the um, help on the side. We go to a word block translator, and we have one number four, single motor on for so many seconds. There's the scratch equivalent up the top, then the Python equivalent down below. Now I'm typing in the Python equivalent. It'll be motor E instead of motor A, because that's where the motor that we want to use is. And I put motor dot run underline four underline seconds. I'm not the fastest typist in the world. Um, four seconds. Open round bracket one comma seventy five, which is for one second at seventy five percent power. Now, there's a problem in that we still haven't had the Bluetooth connection. See up in the top right, it's still red. So, we've click on that. And we open a hub connection, click on Bluetooth, because we don't want to connect to USB. And Lego gives us a handy hint as to what we're supposed to do. Um, you can see I've done that down the left. The big light comes on. 
This time I've waited until after all the lights stabilize, then I click on the Bluetooth connection. It flashes, and you'll notice down the bottom we've got Lego Hub TAS1, which is my robot, and we click Connect to set up a Bluetooth connection. And you'll notice on the top right, Hub was successfully collected and is connected correctly. So we've got the program there. Uh, we can click on the green circle with the white triangle. We try and run it. Will it work over Bluetooth? Waiting? Yes, it will. Good. So we've demonstrated four ways of running programs here. Two Scratch and two Python with both USB and Bluetooth connections. Now go on to one of our fun challenges in either Scratch or Python.